How's it going, Diamond here? And today I have something that you could either find really goofy, really fun, or just both at the same time. And I'm talking about vehicles. So I was just looking through Spigot, and I noticed that I actually purchased this plugin months up to years ago, and I just never used it. I was planning to do a video, and for no apparent reason, I just forgot about it. I was probably moving at the time. That's why. But if you ever wanted to have actual vehicles into your game, this is your time to shine. And no, I'm not talking about all those armor stand that form a single vehicle. I'm talking about an actual vehicle in the game. So as you can see right beside me, I got some vehicles right here. I'm pretty sure if I recall this one's the G, which, oh, yep, yeah, that, that states it right there. We have a, a land, I really am not a car person. I. Don't judge me for this. We have a... I don't want to say that one. I'm just showing the fact that we have different types of cars. You can even see some of my hot bars here. It's comically hilarious how they fit in your hand. But they do work and that's what we're here for. Honestly, this, this police car is one of my favorite. All these are just custom item models. So we're not doing anything funky. But I will say this before I actually start showing some of the commands and everything. Is be careful with the airplanes they are a hassle to get working and um you may crash it several times how the hell did he get what what is happening here i have several questions so overall this is quality army vehicles you may know them from quality army which they make a insane gun plugin but they also decided to expand and make vehicle plugins which are a 10 out of 10 honestly you just get started by doing QAV and then shop. This will show the entire menu that is available. You can create your very own. You can change it for the configuration. It's really up to you how you do it. I have not tested out the boat, but I want to try it out. If you do have admin, you can bypass everything and just get anything from the store. If not, they do have to spend currency, which you can see in chat. I just spent a thousand dollars for a boat and I really wish that was the price or else I'd, I'd buy one IRL. Now, before we actually get testing the vehicles, I want to show some nifty commands that I've used because I didn't run them correctly and may have spawned one too many into the world. If you go close to one and then you just run this command, QAV remove nearby vehicles, you can just click enter and it will remove any nearby vehicles. If you're not, it will remove all and you can just do QAV callback and then you can put a radius. I'll just put something like 150 and that will just bring back every single vehicle in a radius of 150 that is yours. So just in case you do lose it. So I can just place them back down here and there is a motorcycle. We'll get to each one of them one by one. This is this one is the one I'm afraid of. But let's just place all these down. Pretty simple. And I just got two more here. So let me just remove that by just running the command again. And then we just have this lamp called ca Cadillac. Ca Cadillac. Trust me, I'm a car person. But just seeing the models is not as fun. But driving them can actually be a bit wacky. I, it did take me a while to learn this. But you actually just can't. Freaking scared me. Well, I could be mistaken, but it is a little bit of a hassle at first, and I wasn't able to just get into the vehicle. At least for some of them, I wasn't able to. This one doesn't seem to have much of a problem, but try staying on the driver's side, and then you can just shift and right click, and that will bring up this menu. This just shows a couple of things such as, is it public? Can other people drive it? You can add a whitelist so, other, so certain people can drive it. You also have a trunk, really nice. I kind of do like that if you want to carry a bunch of stuff. And then you also can enter a passenger seat. This one has up to, I believe, four. And then you also have the fuel, the health, and the and you can actually just pick it up simple as that but if you want to drive it what i usually recommend because as you can see i'm clicking here it doesn't always register or you can just use going to the driver's side and then right click it and you you can start driving it does have some sound effects which i'm going to lower because i don't want to get deaf but if we just continue driving like that they actually go pretty fast and it can get it can get pretty chaotic if you don't drive them correctly going in third person is actually pretty fun because you can see your character right in the window and I actually do like it. The models are amazing. The sound effects are pretty nifty and just the driving is a little bit tweaking, but it's pretty fun as soon as you get the hang of it. But there you go, that was just one average car. Next up is definitely the motorcycles, which can get pretty speedy. And this is just me slightly tapping it. I'd click it for a second. Now let's just rotate and I'll show you the actual speeds because they can get pretty fast and it is difficult to control them sometimes, I won't lie. Even in this current state, it's very difficult in the high speeds as well. But as long as, like I said, as long as you do ride it for a bit, you start getting... Oh, there it goes. Hey, at least it hit a wall. But again, if you ride it long enough, you start getting the control of it. Practi 
practice makes perk. Practice makes perf. Practice make. Pra I'm not lying here. I legit forgot the saying. Practice makes perfect. I'm, I'm guessing that is it. Oh well. Hey, before we do continue with this video, I want to point out that this video is sponsored by Revive Note. If you guys want to check them out in the in the description down below, you can get 15% off your very own Minecraft server starting at a dollar per gigabyte. Play with friends or create your very own server. Maybe even drag this plugin into it. It's your choice. But overall, I use them, I support them, and you should too. So check it out in the description down below. But I will show you the most difficult one of them all, which is the plane. First, getting into it, it it's a bit weird. Second is <laughs> actually writing it. So if I go forward, nothing happens. But I think I'm in the wrong seat. I'm probably in the wrong seat. No, oh, I'm in the right seat. Oh, there we go. Forgot. It. You just have to click space. And here we go. Just try to look up and you can actually start flying. The more you look up, the higher you're actually going to go. And once you have that altitude, you're going to stay here as long as you got fuel. Again, since I'm admin, I bypass all of this. But you can set this up as a permission base for your players. It's really nifty. And honestly, as soon as you're up here, it's really nice. Just make sure you don't crash like I did. And take it easy. And if you ever want to rotate, you always have to use the AWSD key. The camera won't always work for certain vehicles. But for this one, it works. Such as this one, it does not work. So I'm just going to leave this here. Um, I swear, 90% of this video is just, just going to be goofy stuff happening. Because I genuinely don't know where all, the, where all these vehicles are going. The plugin's great overall, though. So again, you can literally just stay with the actual normal cars if you want. I suggest slightly tweaking it and changing the speeds of the vehicle, maybe go a little slower, but this could work perfectly for a GTA or city type roleplay server, or just even an SMP if, if you know your player base can make the foundation of streets for it. I'm just gonna run shop one more time and I wanna try two more and we'll call that a day. But again, you can also get fuel and you can get an item to repair your vehicles. Last thing I do want to try out is just going to be a helicopter and that boat. I don't know why I grabbed this one. It looks like a funeral car. Let's just place this here and that seemed to work. Can I just hop in? There we go. I mean, it works, but it feels more like a Star Wars car because it's just floating above water. And oh, okay. Yeah, never mind. I was completely wrong. It actually does work and you can't drive it out of water. It is pretty fast though, like I said, you might want to just tweak a lot of these. That's one I want to try is just a helicopter. And this one is pretty good as well. This camouflage is a bit wonky. But the fact that they even come with models is really nice. So what you want to do for this one, so you just want to rotate it with the direction you want to go, such so with uh, A and D, and then you want to go forward. Once you actually start getting some speed, that's how you stay in the air. And then you can hold space and that'll take you even higher. So first you need that speed, then you can press it. And just make sure you don't get stuck like how I do. Oh, and there it goes. This is probably why I don't have a license. But there you have it. That's the video right there. It's a bit goofy, but overall I enjoy the concept and it's pretty simple. Just drag and drop and you can start using the plugin. If you guys like to see any other type of plugins, let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.